on Monday night during a school night. School's back in session. Look at these people. When I see this many American flags, I just know something bad is gonna happen. Money. Um, but let's talk about something that's ongoing. And this story, by the time it comes out, is bound to change. There's more information that's gonna come out. There's more things come out. But I, I'm not so much interested in talking about speculations, what this means. I'm here to talk about things that are actually happening right now and the terrible signs of danger that we are seeing that we need to be paying attention to. So for all you that don't know, yesterday, which is a super significant day, um, being, I don't know how many people knew this, but I thought this was hilarious. Where is it? Oh my goodness, did I lose it? Yesterday was August 4th. 1974, August 8th. Um, sorry, yes, yesterday was August 8th. In 1974, Nixon resigned. So the FBI, with a very cheeky glee type thing they did there, I love it. I love that um, they did that. Oh, I'll get you to the Discord here in a second. I love that they did that. And you just you just know that they have a sense of humor about themselves, right? You, it just makes you feel happy to know, like, ah, okay. I see what you guys did there. But the... But the FBI choosing to raid the president's house, um, choosing to raid the president's house the day Nixon uh, supposedly, uh, not supposedly, but actually resigned is fucking hilarious on so many levels. So shout out to the FBI for that. That was pretty cheeky. I love that. But Berger didn't serve any jail time. He didn't even have his clearance look, permanently removed. Look at how they're trying to already to make an argument for no jail time so for this. So it's a little bit of a disconnect. Keep in mind, the, the, the things that he stole are so secretive that they didn't even put it on the warrant. The things they're looking for are so a matter of a fact for national security. It's not on the warrant. This type of heavy-handed raid occurring. But then there's finally the question of, why? I mean, the, the Trump family uh, insists that it has said that they could go through boxes uh, and go through material uh, upon request. Somebody's obviously lying here. It's hard to believe that a yeah, judge the signed president. off on this if the FBI said, yeah. It's the president. I'm here to tell you the president's no lying, y'all. The assumption is that there was a suggestion that documents could be destroyed unless the raid uh, was allowed to go forward. Um, professor, a couple things here. In January, the National Archives retrieved 15 boxes of material from Mr. Trump. And in Trump's statement last night, he talked about the cooperation that he was affording law enforcement. So we're, we're trying to put one and two together here, right? Uh, meanwhile, Ro Khanna, Democrat from California, they, they, MSNBC Fox News loves Trump. Night, they're always, they're gonna, in their mind, he's still the president. Well, I don't want to politicize it because I think Attorney General Garland and the Justice Department have done a very good job by following the facts. I do think that uh, this gives me confidence that the Justice Department is really pursuing this thoroughly, objectively, uh, and in a non-political way. Okay, to that, I guess you could say, how would he know? Um, and I think the only way... <laughs> we would know is because he's Mary following Garland the rules comes out and explains what's happening i would expect to hear from him yeah, today yeah. would you they're so upset i would hope so they're so upset uh, the you know the, the justice department does not reveal details and ongoing uh, case. uh we could listen to this nonsense all day honestly um so then let's deep dive into what i'm more concerned about right so this tldr Right now, Trump's uh, Trump's Mar-a-Lago Mar home was raided, and a bunch of files and documents were taken out. Now, there's this great guy on Instagram. I don't know if you're if you guys are aren't aware of him. His name's Ben Collins. Go check him out. There's this immaculate thread right now that he has captured by being all over the Twitterverse uh, and like other conversations throughout the whole entire you know. Uh, whether it's Truth Social, these Redditor pages and stuff like that. He's been following those pages. And Ben Collins in his thread, which I'm going to go through a few of them, uh, if they save, is basically saying like, oh, no. Uh, his thread 
they basically cover what some of these people are saying. There are people out here right now. I am awaiting sentencing for trespassing in the Capitol, he wrote. I am only being careful with my words. So this person, after the Mar-a-Lago uh, raid, has made, and he's was a person who was at the Capitol riot, has, who's, who, they're trying to gather up troops to create some type of disturbance. Right? The most popular comment responding to the news upvoted over 1,200 1, 1, times was simply the word lock and load it. Violence is coming as a result of this. And while I think it's not going to be on the scale that people want it to be, which is, I think there's a tweet here about civil war, because this is all those dead brain people think about is the fucking past. It does present the opportunity for innocent people to be hurt, and that's something to be concerned about. There's more... Di uh, uh, on top post of Reddit was a January 6th defendant currently awaiting sentencing. This was that kid, this, this guy right here. Users shared posts from the Proud Boys Telegram adding that the FBI is Biden's Gestapo. The word, uh, I don't know if this is going to, oh, and of course, you know, the Trump administration took this opportunity. Hey, we need money. Got a fundraiser off the FBI raid. They need money. Like, this is such a weird thing. Like, he's being charged with a criminal offense, felony. And I think the, the Constitution for this, the Const not the Const the law handling this basically states that if he is found guilty, he could serve anywhere up to three years in jail or be fined and they must relinquish their ability to ever run for office because of the se severity of this crime right uh steven crowder this fucking waste of uh sperm cells tomorrow is war sleep well the fuck steven crowder is never going to be in the front lines of anything LinkedIn, we're at a agitating for a civil war on our uh, LinkedIn now. It's one thing to for anonymous accounts to post right wing extremist message, castigating the latest developments surrounding the myriad of Trump related investigations. But I didn't anticipate what happened on LinkedIn, as Dana said, it's out in the open now. Crazy. Though, this was the stat right here. A big spike in tweets referring, referencing civil war right after the news of the FBI searching of Mar-a-Lago Mar -Lago broke last night. Like, this, that's crazy. Look at the spike. Can we get the full picture on this? Oh, we can't tell what the... But that's ridiculous, right? But people are complaining about this. Trump picked personally picked the FBI director. And I thought that was hilarious, too. I thought that was so hilarious. I wanted to look it up and hear Trump's own words. We're going to get right to breaking news right now. President Trump is just tweeting about the FBI director. Here's what he says. I will be nominating Christopher A. Ray, a man of impeccable credentials, to be the next director of the FBI. Details to follow. We will have more on this as it develops. But first, let me bring in Dagan. Dagan, Christopher Ray. who is he, his background, what can you tell us? We know that the President Trump did interview Christopher Ray for the job of FBI director. I mean, that was already out there. He works currently in private practice at King and Spaulding a Law Firm in litigation. He worked at the Justice Department. Um, as assistant attorney general from 2003 to 2005. So under President Bush. And, and also under Jim Comey, um, under, at the, at the Justice Department. Um, but he has since been at King and Spalding Law Firm since he left justice in 2000. So we know that Trump likes this guy. Trump found something about him. But look at his people. Right after figuring out, look at the amount of people. This, this raid happened yesterday on a Monday night. A Monday night during a school night. School's back in session. Look at these people. 
When I see this many American flags, I just know something bad is going to happen. Is that a Puerto Rican flag too? That's crazy. It's 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 maddening, but it's also like to be expected. So I guess out of the old total that I want to talk about here, yeah, the raid happened. Yeah, we know it has to do with some documentations. We're gonna need a whole bunch more details. What was in the safe? What does the what do the people know? Who knew it when it was time? All those things will be answered. But for the most part, I want to draw my people's attention to the violence that is about to happen. I hope it doesn't, but with the stat like there's two guns to every adult in America, every person in America, and eight guns to every adult in America, I have reason to be concerned. So watch your six, take care of yourselves, be aware of their surroundings and situations, because these types of people are out here mourning right now, as if, as if he didn't break the law to do what he did. And there are people woefully, openly saying that they're ready for civil war. Lock and load it. Are we not in the in a cold civil war at this point? Several points ago, they cry out in pain as they strike you. Like these aren't normal talking points. So we, we are in for some very interesting situations to come. So I want to make sure you guys are aware of it and you just watch yourself. But hey, that's how I feel.